Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift to the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. A number of years ago, when I was in my car driving somewhere, I was listening to the radio, and I was listening to a talk that was being given by someone. I forget who the person giving the talk, I forget really most the content of what he was saying, but there was one line that struck me that has stayed with me ever since then over the years. And it's a question that I often ask myself. And the question this speaker proposed is, if what you're doing today is not eternal, then why are you doing it? We fill our days with many things and many important things of taking care of ourselves, those that we love, providing for ourselves and and others. But we often can get distracted in things that are not eternal and are not important. And yet we can put a lot of energy and emphasis and time into it. We begin the day today, this morning, with what is eternal with this Eucharist. But as we go forth from here, we're constantly reminded to live in that which is eternal. The disciples, when they're brought before the Sanhedrin, told not to speak respond, we would rather obey God than obey man. And in the gospel, Jesus talks about those who are earthly are concerned with earthly things. We are to be concerned with the things of above. So let us ask ourselves as we come to this Eucharist this morning, if what we are doing is not eternal, then why are we doing it? Let us pray. For the church, may God grant each believer the grace to live